Hey everyone, welcome to module 1. So we'll discuss regarding uh, introduction to network security in this particular first module. So let's get it started. Um, where we'll be talking about, you know, the, the fundamental uh, concept of what is network security, right? So my, my intention is to uh, not to bore you with a lot of PPTs and a lot of, you know, uh, presentations here. So my, my intention is to uh, ensure that in order to understand uh, any sort of network firewalls or in order to understand you know networking security as a subject right um, what are the important terms and what are the important concepts that you should have in your mind as a prerequisite and uh, as a, as a beginner right um, uh, why you need to know network network security you might have done routing and switching you might have done uh, basic of networking fundamentals you might have um, you might be an experienced uh, folk understanding this particular lecture where you have come and did Palo Alto might be Cisco might be other firewall products right and you understanding 40 net over here so let's let's understand on a, on a very basic you know way of, uh, of of what is network security is all about right so network security as you know I I understand right as as I understand with the concept of networking in my mind is it gives you it, it, it will it will give you as the foundational aspect right so let me let me take out a notepad over here and just uh, write some key points yeah so it'll, it'll actually dive and it will give you some sort of you know foundational aspects of understanding the principles the strategies and technologies right that you implement to protect your any sort of computer networks uh, from from any unauthorized access right so my my terms like unauthorized access right uh, cyber threats so your job is to protect your computer networks, you know, from any sort of unauthorized access, from any sort of cyber threats, any sort of, you know, data breaches, where, <clears throat> you know, uh, it will it will actually break the confidentiality of your, you know, private data or user data. So the whole idea is that network security uh, is think like it's it's a big umbrella, which actually uh, consists of different types of measures. That is designed to ensure the confidentiality, the integrity, and the availability of data that is transmitted across the networks. So, so we say CIA, right? It is it is going to uh, give you a lot of measures to um, uh, make sure that your data remains confidential, your data remains your data remains you know integrity. It maintains integrity so that no you know man in the middle can tamper the data when it is traversing in a network from point a to point b and all it and and it should ensure that data is always available for the end user to access right so if i have got a data located in my cloud right and i'm accessing the data from my own pc uh being at my home i would want that my data is safe and secure so it is confidential right uh Whenever I'm I'm downloading or, or whenever I'm accessing the data over a network, the data is not tampered by any sort of man in the middle. It's not spoofed, so it remains integral, and it is always available to me as a user, right? So, CIA, uh, the whole world of network security roams around CIA. So the idea is it is called as confidential, confidentiality. Okay, it is. The word I is for integrity and the word A is for availability. All right. So the whole world of network security roams around you know, how to protect your CIA of your of your data. All right. How do you actually uh, make it happen? All right. So adding more to that, you know, network security uh, according to us is a is a very much integral uh, facet of your modern technology which encompasses a multi-facet set of you know practices 
protocols, tools that are aimed at fortifying the uh, integrity and confidentiality of your digital networks, right? So it involves a proactive, you know, approach uh, to to shield your, you know, interconnected systems, your devices and data from any sort of unauthorized access and cyber threats. Right, and it also ensures that you know it protects your uh, data breaches. So at its very fundamental level, you know, network security uh, generally we'll see it will uh, uh, deploy a layer, uh, a layer defense mechanism, a layer of a defense mechanism, right, which encompasses both uh, hardware and software solutions that strategically you know are binded together. So we have you know hardware. And software solutions software solutions that are strategically you know binded together to provide that you know layered defense approach right so the whole idea of you know network security is you know to encompass this you know hardware products the software solutions you know bring it together so that you can identify uh, you can mitigate and you can deter various forms of cyber attacks, right? So the whole need is this. As a network engineer, what do you do? As a security administrator, your job is to, you know, identify any sort of potential uh, threats, right? Your job is to uh, mitigate any sort of potential threats, right? And also, you know, determine or deter various forms of, you know, deter various forms of cyber attacks okay <clears throat> so adding more to that so you know you can think like uh, this this robust defense infrastructure where you built up in the in the organization for example in your data center or might be inside your enterprise branch office um, this robust defense infrastructure it involves the implementation of you know diverse security measures where the most important product of securing your you know enterprise or securing your data centers or cloud is firewalls right so firewalls are your uh, the the pivotal you know network security hardware or as a product you can think like so firewalls will act as uh, sentinels they are uh, going to be strategically you know positioned to filter any sort of incoming and outgoing traffics Right. So, what does firewall do? Is basically it filters any um, incoming or or outgoing traffics. Right. So, it will only permit you know uh, only only sort of on uh, authorized data packets. So, it permits uh, only you know authorized data packets. Right, that can traverse through a particular firewall. Okay, so we'll do a lot of diagrams, explanation down the line. We'll talk about a lot of scenarios down the line. Don't worry for that. But these are the important terms, guys. Yeah. So firewalls they act as a major hardware. It's as, act as a major component in network security, where it will be uh, positioned to filter any sort of incoming and outgoing traffic. It permits only authorized data packets to pass through while blocking any sort of uh, potential threats. Right, while blocking any potential threats. That is the major job of firewall. And if the firewalls are positioned in such a way that they are, you know, configured, they are applied with the right security policies by the administrator, so it will work uh, better, and it will actually provide a, you know, first layer of defense in your um, for your organization. Right, so. The most important thing in network security is another term which we call that as encryption techniques, right? So encryption techniques are very important again. So encryption techniques, you know, uh, the idea is it will encode any sort of sensitive information, right? So it will be uh, not you know, decipherable to any unauthorized entities and it will be preserving its confidentiality of your data even if it is intercepted. So make sure that, you know, we always say that data uh, needs to be encrypted either if it is at rest or if it is uh, in in moving 
right if the data is being transmitted from point a to point b over a network or the data is at rest at some sort of you know uh, hard drive so make sure that data should be encrypted so that it is not decipherable by any sort of man in the middle and uh, it is not readable right that's the whole idea of encryption and there are different types of encryption techniques that we have right so the the products like you know ids ips like you know intrusion detection system intrusion prevention system you know they are uh, going to constantly monitor your network traffic for any sort of uh, suspicious activities right it will swiftly identify and neutralize any sort of potential threats before they can escalate yeah so ids ips um right now you know uh, in today's industry uh, right now it is embedded inside the firewall itself right so if you buy firewall as a hardware or if you have a firewall as a virtual appliance and you will see the firewalls you know in today's industry have this ids ips you know features with them all right so moreover you can think like network security it it dives into um, access controls and authentication mechanism right so you will have to uh, uh, understand this concepts of you know access controls and authentication mechanisms right that means you know who can access uh, what so as a user right if I be inside a network right so what are the various roles I have inside that particular network right and being in that role what all privileges I get and based on those privileges what sort of information I can actually transmit in the network and I can access from the uh, devices in the network right so this is a very important piece as a network engineer you must know right so it uh, so, so network security and you know, also makes you know this particular concept very tight right where it will only allow uh, the right access controls and right authentication mechanism that will validate the identification of the users and devices seeking the network access right so it will establish you know uh, stringent policies and also best practices governing the usage and protection of your uh, network resources it will also ensure that you maintain compliance with the industry standards and industry regulatory requirements right so as a network en uh, engineer you must also be aware of something called as risk assessment right risk assessment so risk assessment you know uh, incident respond how to respond to any sort of incident right and what are the what are the different strategies you have to respond to those you know network incidents that we have you must ensure that you have continuous monitoring completing this this comprehensive approach uh, which will which will actually potentially um, you know provide the measures to uh, protect your network against any sort of threats and any sort of security breaches right now in today's interconnected digital landscape that we have in the industry where cyber attacks they have evolved at you know at an unprecedented pace right network security uh, definitely stands as a ever evolving discipline so it will demand it will demand continual adaption innovative approaches from the network engineers and the network security you know developers and a proactive mindset the most important thing is this guys proactive mindset to safeguard your network against any sort of potential vulnerabilities and uh, cyber attacks right so ultimately the primary objective of network security is to is to foster a secure environment where data remains confidential it is unaltered and it is accessible only to unauthorized individuals or systems right so make sure that uh, it will have it is it is going to then only install the trust in the integrity of your digital communication and the operation that is happening in the current networking uh, industry 
right so with that in mind i hope it's it's quite clear that why uh or, or what is the basic you know uh, need of network security right so i hope it is clear uh, i hope you understood the you know various important points that i discussed over here right so i'll try to keep it very sweet and short where you know some basic terms uh, as a, as an engineer and you can talk about this to your you know superiors or to your you know partners in your organization right so <clears throat> the next thing that i'm going to discuss is in this particular module 1 which is all about uh understanding the importance of network security so i'll discuss that in the next uh module or the next sub module right so i'll see you there